story is the meeting between Seoul and Washington's top new convoys in the nation's southernmost island. Further discussions were held on ways to jointly deal with Pyongyang's threats. A lot was covered, including Trump's visit, the lack of provocation from the rogue state, and China sending a special delegate to the regime. Kwon Jang-ho starts us off. It's been less than a month since their last meeting in October, but the South Korean and U.S. nuclear envoys met again Friday on Jeju Island with several new developments to go over. The meeting lasted 70 minutes, during which they discussed President Donald Trump's recent trip to South Korea and other Asian countries. Speaking to reporters after the meeting, the South Korean envoy Lee Do-hun said that both Trump and President Moon Jae-in had agreed on the need to solve the North Korean nuclear situation through diplomatic and peaceful means, and that continued sanctions and pressure are needed to try and draw Pyongyang to the negotiation table. Joseph Yun, Washington's envoy, also agreed that the pressure campaign had to be the central element and that they're working with countries like China, Russia, Japan and the EU to achieve meaningful and credible dialogue with the regime. The two also talked about North Korea's recent lull in nuclear and missile activities for the past two months. They welcomed the hiatus but explained that there had so far been no communication from Pyongyang and that unless North Korea declares that it has stopped the provocations in order to open talks, then it cannot be interpreted as either a positive or negative sign. Reporters also asked them about the significance of Beijing sending a special envoy to North Korea on Friday. It was announced this week that Song Tao, the head of Beijing's international department, was heading to Pyongyang to report on the outcomes of China's recent party congress. But also coming after President Trump's visit to Beijing, there is some speculation that China could also be urging North Korea to consider holding talks. Yi remarked that the meeting could have very significant meaning considering the timing, while Yun added China had a big role to play in the Northeast Asia security issues and that he hoped the special envoy will forward the goal towards denuclearization. The two said they'll keep a close eye on that meeting and will try to convene again as soon as possible to analyze it further. Kwon Zhang-ho, Arirang News.